All right, here we go. Let's do this. I'm like 100% here for the village stuff, for the Resident Evil stuff. I'm kind of interested to see what they do with Rise too. Couldn't care less about Monster Hunter stories currently anyway. And uh, don't really care about the Ace Attorney stuff either. Not that like I think it'll be bad necessarily, it's just that Capcom has so many other things that I would have like shat my pants over before most of the stuff they're talking about. Welcome to the Capcom E3 Showcase. I'm your host, Rachel Querico, AKA Seltzer, and I'll be your guide as we walk through the latest releases, news, and updates from Capcom. We'll hear from the Resident Evil Village team, share some news from the world of Monster Hunter, and get the latest on Ace Attorney. Then we'll wrap up with some updates from our friends at Capcom Fighters. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Our first stop today, Resident Evil Village. Okay, the what Resident do we got? Evil franchise continues <clears throat> to pioneer the latest and greatest in survival horror. The team has been blown away by the response to Resident Evil Village, which launched last month. It brought the world another chapter in this decades-long story as the franchise celebrates its 25th anniversary this year. I'm honored to be able to introduce Tsuyoshi Kanda, producer on Resident Evil Village, with a special message for the fans. <laughs> another time. Oh man, I just realized, if you haven't, like, seen it, there's probably gonna be spoilers here. Maybe, like, don't watch. I think it's <laughs> if you haven't caught up. They started off with a huge one. So... Hi everyone! My name is Tsuyoshi Kanda, producer on Resident Evil Village. I wanted to take this opportunity to thank everyone who's played since we launched the game in May. His English is very good. I hope you're enjoying this new chapter in survival horror. As a reminder, everyone who purchases Resident Evil Village will gain free access to our online multiplayer title. Resident Nobody Evil cares, Harvest, man. Where players go head to head with their favorite Resident Evil heroes and bioweapons. Nope, no I'm one cares. Go on. I announced that Resident Evil r Reverse will go live next month across all supported platforms. So head into the fray to celebrate the Resident Evil 25th anniversary. That, that can't just be the news. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Thank you, Kanda-san, for that one. That's it! <laughs> Next up, some long-awaited news from the world of Monster Hunter. Whether it's adventuring alongside monsters oh, or you battling them fucking with friends, cocksuckers. we've got something for you. First, let's dive into the brand new story-based RPG entry to the series, Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. I'm not even going to wait for the rest of this to happen. <laughs> this was his fate. Red may have been strong and skilled, but against the awesome power of nature, he was merely a man. He never stood a chance. All around, things just kept getting worse. But I heard that Guardian Ratha had survived and returned to Hekolo Island. I went there to see Red's old monster again. Then, of course, that's when I met you. You were given Red's kinship stone and now a Rathalos egg. This is destiny. This is the legendary monster, Rainswing Ratha, the monster with the wings of ruin. It's said that a beat of its wings can bring about waves of destruction. Many people believe 
there's a connection between the strange happenings and the wings of ruin. The pits are appearing everywhere, and they're emitting a strange light. idea of forming kinship with monsters how do you control them it's not about control monsters help riders of their own will and the bonds between monsters and riders are just like your bond with Sukino. Shining in the night. what kind of power does ratha really have why are all of these pits appearing? I'm like Every actually mad. To take Ratha for <laughs> all I have are questions. Because what they announced so was such a non-announcement. <laughs> Ratha will become anxious too. He needs to know that Listen, if you guys don't have anything no for E3, what, I can sense the step out, man. <laughs> you don't have to put the something together. Power. It's too much for Maybe they have something for Rise. Monsters. Surely you can groove with fellow humans. They have the power of kinship. They're friends. They're monsties. Humans carry the strength of everyone they meet. That makes them strong. My friends here taught me that. I believe in the strength of humanity. Cool. Oh, new amiibo, sweet. Looks pretty epic, right? And how about that announcement? The canine companion Palamute from Monster Hunter Rise will be joining Monster Hunter Stories 2 as one of the new monsties in the first free title update coming soon after the game's release. You can get an early peek at the game with the Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin trial version starting on June 25th, which also carries your progress over to the full game release just a few weeks later on July 9th. That's not the only way to join the hunt. Millions of you made Monster Hunter Rise a huge success earlier this year, and we have even more content coming, including a new collaboration on the rise. Let's find out more. We plan on collaborating with somebody. Announcement. Let's go. This is for my fellow hunters. Cool, the collaborations with their own fucking other game. Get ready. I have a good Making big strides in the industry, Capcom. Big strides! Fucking dipshits. Oh my god, it's like looking in a mirror! I can't believe this collaboration is happening! Oh, I'm so fucking upset. Holy shit. I can feel the blood vein in my brain is about to pop. 
I can feel it. This is a big one coming up. <laughs> oh, hey, we got black leather pants. Oh, and sunglasses. <laughs> awesome. Tamura is like my second home. You think you can take on Rondine? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> At least that's a roadmap. At least that was given. There has never been a better time to be a Monster Hunter fan. With all the new updates Not to true. Monster, Monster Hunter, Hunter World was a better the time. Launch of Monster Hunter Stories 2 this summer. We can't wait to hear about your own stories of adventure. Well, that's not the only thing Capcom has in store for us this July. Fans of Phoenix Wright will have new chapters to explore with the release of the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. North American and European future attorneys will finally be able to get their hands on the Great Ace Attorney Adventures and the Great Ace Attorney 2 Resolve, which were previously only available in Japan. You'll travel back in time to the late 19th century Japan and London to play as Ryunosuke Naruhodo, Phoenix Wright's ancestor in this action-packed prequel. Now let's hear more about the story. So then, let us unravel this mystery. Welcome to the center of the world. Great Britain's mighty capital, London. This country is incredible. I will become a lawyer. I have to. Their Phoenix so, Wright cross Great Ace Attorney collab. And discover what it Real question. Led to this curious murder. Who are you? Herlock Sholmes. You must have heard of me. We must solve this case, Narahodo san. Let us engage in the art of deduction, Mr. Narahodo. Well, what happened here? Oh. It would seem the truth is now tantalizingly close. The defense demands its right to a cross-examination. Objection! Your testimony completely contradicts the facts. Objection! My lord, with all due respect, this is an outrage! Well, at so least we if you're a fan of those games, at least you got something out of this, I guess. Where you can take on the role of a defense attorney. Now, we all want to see some gameplay, right? Let's take a closer first look at two gameplay features new to the franchise in the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Dance of Deduction and Summation Examination. Hello, I'm Jonathan, Capcom's marketing brand manager for the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. So this is the capital of Great Britain. Where to? The Supreme Court in Whitehall, if you wouldn't mind. The Capcom team is thrilled I'll be back in to a present second. two new gameplay features, Dance of Production and Summation Examination, coming to the Ace Attorney series. While investigating to prove your client's innocence, Players will come across conspicuous situations that require further examination with the help of Ryanovsky's legal aid, Suzato, and the brilliance of deduction from Detective Herlock. Herlock will proceed to present his logic and reasoning spectacular, a grandiose yet flawed series of conjectures.
All right, had to feed my cats because they were being will then a little annoying. The they were hungry. At this point, players will be prompted to search for clues that help identify the errors in the detective's logic and reveal the truth to the mystery. As players present new evidence and observations, Herlock will amend his deductions based on the new information. Upon uncovering the truth, Ryunosuke and Herlock enter into a semi-metaphorical, semi-literal dance that brings them to the conclusion of the dance of deduction. Man. If you're a fan of these games, this was definitely the show, the Capcom show for you. I didn't realize that this is kind of the reason why they had an E3 presentation at all. This is going to take up the rest of the half hour, I think. It wasn't an old man at all. Secret new announcement incoming. I mean, maybe. We'll see. New announcement. We're working on a game. Thanks, Capcom. In courtroom battles, players will attempt to convince six jurors of the innocence of their client. Their progress will be displayed and represented machine. by two scales of justice. One black, representing a guilty verdict, and one white, representing a not guilty verdict. Objection! In summation, examination, you take the stand to face off against the jurors, all of whom provide explanations as to why they've reached their guilty verdict. I mean, the thing I want out of Capcom, I knew I wasn't going to get, so... The thing I really wanted was some sway the jury in your favor. Mega Man thing each at carefully all, basically. And select two contradicting jurors to call out the flaws in their logic. Second thing was anything new with Resident Evil Village. Objection! Be ready to provide evidence from the court record to help prove the contradiction in their claims. When you successfully point out one of these contradictions among the jurors, you might just change their minds, too. With a slam of their fist, each juror you persuade will send a fiery ball towards the scales above and literally tip the scales of justice in your favor. Bring each contradiction to light and persuade the jury to help prove your client's innocence. Objection! My lord, with all due respect, this is an outrage! This has just been a small taste of the exciting new gameplay features in the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. We are very excited to get this game in the hands of both new fans and diehard fans alike. Thanks for watching. It already seems like I have a bunch of games to catch up on. There are some exciting new adventures and titles to look forward to. Well, that's a look at the new premieres from Capcom, but what about esports? Let's close out today's showcase with a few words from two of the stars of Capcom Fighters, Rob TV and Vicious. They'll tell us what's been going on with Capcom Esports, including updates on the Capcom Pro Tour, Intel World Open, Street Fighter League, and all the other content on Capcom Fighters. Over to you guys. What's going on everybody and welcome to the Capcom Esports presentation for E3 2021. My name is Vicious, commentator for the Capcom Pro Tour as well as Street Fighter League, here with competitive Street Fighter V player and host extraordinaire, Hollywood, Rob TV. What's going on, Rob? Oh my goodness, Vicious, host extraordinaire. That just sounds beautiful, it has a ring to it. And I think that's the perfect word to describe what we have for everyone today. Street Fighter V, Capcom E3, it just feels right and you feel the electricity in the air. Nice! Nice! nice. What? That 
was nasty. And there might be some people at home, Vicious, who don't fully know what competitive Street Fighter V is. The long and the short of it is this. We travel all around the world, state to state, country to country, and we try to bring our opponent's life bar from 100 all the way down to zero and feel pretty goddamn good doing it. That's right, Rob. If you think you're the best in your region, sign up for Capcom Pro Tour to prove it and become possibly a world champion at Street Fighter V. The double perfect, the way he looked at the camera. Yikes! Like... Don't what? ever expect another man's controller. So in this year's CPC overall, it's a series of tournaments that have $5,000 on the line for each tournament, but that money alone, that's not the big, that's not what's really at stake here. It's <clears> about <throat> making it to the granddaddy of them all, Capcom Cup. <laughs> just reset in grand finals of what? Capcom Cup. So behind me, you can see in all of its glory, the Capcom Pro Tour 2021 official stage and set. And that's a place that you are very, very familiar with. That's right, we take all of our events and broadcast it live from this stage, and we check out all of the top competitors from each and every one of these regions. And speaking of, the Capcom Pro Tour has shaped up a lot. 2021, we have 32 events going on in the Capcom Pro Tour, spanning across 19 different territories. So there's so many opportunities for players from around the world to get that ticket into Capcom Cup this season. I'm absolutely excited because, again, that is a big change from what 2020 was into what we could expect for 2021. And Mago is your first qualifier for Japan for the Capcom Pro Tour. Not only can you catch the Capcom Pro Tour live on the Capcom Fighters channel, you can do so on a plethora of platforms. We have it on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Of course, if you don't catch it live, you can also check out the VODs for all the competitive studying you would need to become a successful Street Fighter V player, as well as catching some of the community focused content that we have on Capcom Fighters. We have No Neutral, the official pre-show of the Capcom Pro Tour. We have sets where we take players from around the world and play off in an exhibition first to 10. Not only that, actually, we do have Street Fighter League that's happened season after season, non-stop action. Six teams of three duke it out in this battle tournament series to see who will walk away with the championship and the $150,000 prize pool. Street Fighter League is something that you don't want to miss because normally we only have 1v1 content. But now you actually have your teammates at your back and every decision that you make is not just about you anymore. Look for more news on Street Fighter League later this year. It's Oki time, what's gonna happen? Nice. He checks it, he good. checks the movement. Oh, what's yeah. happening? It's so good. Let's not forget the Intel World Opening is happening right now. God, I don't fucking care. Regions around Holy the world shit. Are competing for their place in the World Finals happening Just next Just end month. it. Be sure to check out the official website for more information, including current standings and broadcast schedule. To commemorate this event, everyone who logged in during this period will receive an exclusive competitor title and dojo object. You do not want to miss this. I highly recommend everyone to stay tuned for future Capcom Pro Tour updates on the Capcom Fighters channel. And again, we've had so many events so far. We started off with the Japan region. We've had a couple of more events going on afterwards, but the action does not stop. In fact, we're gonna be continuing off with the Midwest Ooh. region for the Capcom Pro Tour. I know you're definitely excited about that. 100%, I mean, of course your boy is from Ohio. Make sure you guys tune in to see the tournament. What you boy? Want to miss my boy? The best Street Fighter Five players in the world compete head to head. Hmm. So it's you. I dare you to find better Street Fighter. I dare you. This is a game about being a world warrior. Capcom Cup tournament play. Obviously, they got a rivalry. I'm the best in the world. This game has changed the lives of so many people here. Ooh, ooh, I saw oh, oh, the pop off. That's what I'm talking about. My told you it's gonna go to the limit, and I ain't lying to the people. This is the ultimate Street Fighter V experience. This is Capcom Pro 2. <laughs> you were into your chicken wing? Oh man, chicken Thanks, wings guys. though. It's been a really exciting season so far, and I can't wait to see how this plays out on the road to Capcom Cup. Remember to check out Capcom Fighters Twitch and YouTube channels for more information and to watch the latest matches. So that's a wrap for Capcom at E3 this year. Let's recap what we all saw. Resident Evil Village is back with the latest installment of the survival horror experience and RE-verse as part of the franchise's 25th anniversary. We have new adventures to embark on in the world of Monster Hunter, with Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin, 
and Monster Hunter Rise. And don't forget to go back in time with the great Ace Attorney Chronicles to tap into the family history of Phoenix Wright and solve new cases. Finally, don't miss out on the eSports fun. Make sure you catch the latest matches with Capcom Fighters. There really is something for everyone here today. But don't go anywhere yet. Join the conversation on Twitter and make sure you check out the Capcom virtual booth on the E3 portal to watch all these videos again and more. I'm Rachel Querico, AKA Seltzer. Thank you for being part of the Capcom experience at E3 this year. Fuck you. I know it's not her fault. Uh, this is an easy D. It's not quite fail because if you care about Ace Attorney, you've got some decent stuff out of it. And they at least had a roadmap for some stuff coming from Monster Hunter, I guess. But it's pretty much a fail. It's just like one step above it. Thanks for wasting my time, Capcom, you fucking assholes. <laughs>